After 10 busy days, the Commission for Social Development completed its 52nd session in New York. Six draft resolutions were approved for adoption by the Economic and Social Council on topics including empowerment, partnerships for Africa's development, aging, disability and family policy. I think the varied um, representations give a global perspective to, to the challenges that we have here and we are hearing that there isn't one size fits all and that we really have to take that into context, learning from the MDGs, um, that this is about transition, it's about people at different places, it's about different capacities and the need to try to um, reinforce those capacities to deliver. I think one of the problems oftentimes in international development, we think people are poor, that they have nothing and therefore um, they must be, we must look at their needs and their deficits and give them something. This, this is important, but it treats people as, as objects. It treats people as clients. The empowerment approach turns that around. It says that everybody has the capacity to speak, everybody has a voice, everybody should be involved. And therefore, it makes people as agents of their own future, not simply as, as clients of other kinds of decisions. The well-attended session included a high-level panel discussion as well as general debate on promoting empowerment of people in achieving poverty eradication, social integration and full employment and decent work for all. If someone has no confidence within themselves to move forward in life, no matter how many programs come out or how many checks they receive, they won't, they won't go anywhere. I think for civil society, empowerment has a lot to do with um, shifting power. It's, it's, not just, it's, not, it's not about giving people money. It's about um, providing people with access and uh, loosening up the reins of power uh, so that individuals can realize the power within themselves. Uh, um, to us it is very important to open up the floor and to um, bring real democracy to the United Nations. This means that we would like to try to support people who normally would not be able to speak in the United Nations. We would like to raise their voice so that they can actually be heard. The Commission also decided that the priority thing for the coming two years will be rethinking and strengthening social development in the contemporary world. Together with member states, civil society, youth delegates and United Nations officials, the Commission is ready to continue its work advancing social development and creating a better world for all.